Versa. Play MD Experience Episode 2 in 3, 2, 1, go! So hello people! <laughs> Here we go again! First question. Can you tell us what interested you to join Mediatrix in the first place? Or dare I say, hashtag bakit MDX? I was looking for an org na uh, kusan magpa-practice ko yung photography ko. I guess walang concrete reason for that. Nakita ko lang siya sa Plaza Mayor. Tapos sumali ako org. Gusto ko lang ng org. Mediatrix was one of the first orgs na nakasalubong ko. Dun sa, hindi pa sa Plaza Mayor ang recruitment. R101. Someone texted me. Si Arian. She's also here. <laughs> At first, I wasn't really interested. Pero nung R101, during my freshie year, nag-iikot kami ng friend ko sa Plaza Mayor. And she introduced me to the existence of Meteoratrix. And Meteoratrix does musicals, something that I want to do in my college orgs. I like musicals. I see an organization that likes musicals as well and performs musicals. I joined the said organization and here I am. I was part of another organization. We had a partnership. We were asked to write original songs for their upcoming production, which is Alcina. So during those rehearsals sa uh, Edo Kodi, I was thinking to myself, what if is ako do sa mga performers na umaarte, kumakanta, at sumasaya ko on stage? I started as an audience and nakapanood na kasi ako ng production na pre-noduce ng Meteoritrix people. Mukha silang genuine sa ginagawa nila. May literary arts, may visual arts, and performing arts. Sabi sa akin was nag-hold sila ng exhibits. Ito na closest dun sa gusto kong gawin. So, sige, sali tayo. Kami ng friend ko, we were looking for an outlet sa art na yung pursue namin. Nung nakita ko yung NDX, nalaman ko na they were producing and staging shows. Natawa ko kasi yung energy ng people na mga na-meet ko during the recruitment time. Very positive, very welcoming. Naging goal na talaga siya and a dream na pagka-up ako ng college, mag-audition ako for major tricks. All these thoughts are in my head until natapos yung production. Wherein, talaga nag-decide na ako na yes, I wanna join MDX for real this time. Pero bakit ako nag-stay? Dahil sa mga tao, makakakita ka ng mga tao na magiging friends mo for life. Do did I know na that was the first step towards something so much bigger. What is the most iconic event slash encounter in your time with MDX? Medyo mahirap. Ang dami kasi. Nung sumali ako ng MDX, yun yung first time na talaga naka-encounter ako ng people from different colleges or different upbringings. Yung the fact na nag-merge yung personalities namin or nag-jive. And syempre kapag nagpo-prod, yun yung time na talagang natitest kaming lahat as people. Orientation, 2019-2020. That was my first time to ever perform sa QPUB. Grabe yung kaba ko nun. I was there singing in front of thousands of people. Back in 2014, they had the show Kaun Kaun Kahilingan. I was in the audience, I was watching. It just led me to audition for their next show. I'm in awe. Sobrang parang alam niya, parang naka-starstruck dahil kasi these people that you watched live before, ayun, you get to work with them, so that's cool. I was Sophia's dad sa William. Sobrang fun nun kasi I get to play a very flamboyant character. First year college ako nung nag-perform ako and production manager ako nung third year. Sobrang na-test yung time management ko nun. Gala day or gala show ng bawat prod. Why? Kasi para siya nagiging homecoming. Lahat ng from alumni, regular members, tyro members, they come together and they see the production for the last time. Hindi ko naisip na kakayanin ko, na malalaban ko. Those moments yung proudest moments ko. What did you learn about yourself after you joined MDX? Ooh, self-reflection. I learned that I could act. <laughs> really? I can take risks. That I am capable of leading. That I could lead. Parang I had that, ano, I had that capability. I am capable of taking on challenges, doing better, and also improving on my craft as well. And to be able to share this with a, uh, with a bigger audience. I addition not knowing that someday this organization will bring me such big opportunities. The fact that I am part of the executive committee for the second time now that I was able to surpass organizing community development project and 
more projects are coming my way. Before Mediartex, wala akong ano, wala akong hindi na like, work experience or any kind of experience working with a group of people. Ayo kong lumalabas sa comfort zone ko. So anything and everything that makes me uncomfortable as in no ex na hagad. Kasi ako yung type of person na yung hardships or like struggles, I always equate that to problems. When in fact, hindi siya ganon. Hardships and struggles can also mean growing or learning personally. Ang dami ko palang kayang gawin na kahit feeling ko hindi ko siya kayang gawin, kaya ko pala siyang gawin. Basta, I just put my mind into it and my heart into it. I never thought I could do that before. It's really thanks to the people who helped me. Making the right decisions. Kasi hindi ka lang basta-basta member. Madami kang piniplay na person eh. On different situations, kailangan mo maging fair sa mga decision mo. It's for the common good eh. Kailangan properly fitted. I learned that I am capable of doing a lot of things. Kasi dami ding tests talaga na binibigay sa'yo ng MDX. Makes you question your abilities, your your passion. Hindi, hindi ako ito lang. I can still go much, much further than what I was way, way before. I don't know if I'm to mga fast food court, sa mga fast food restaurants. Alam mo yung order ka sa ano, sa counter. Tapos ngayon, trabaho, public relations. Like, who is she? Dami ko nalaman about myself na hanggang ngayon dinadala ko as a human being, as a person. I am where I'm supposed to be. I am more than where I am right now. And I can be anything that I put my mind and my heart into it. And that's something that's really been helpful for me as a person. What is your biggest or harshest MD experience? And how did you grow from it? It's the harshest. Hindi siya kasi harshest eh, but most challenging. It's nung naelect ako as president, tapos biglang boom, pandemic, yes. We needed to change the way we tackle things, we tackle problems. Hindi na kami pwedeng sumunod dun sa blueprint na nakaprepare na. Tapos, magkakahiwalay pa kayo lahat. So for me, it's really frustrating to work on something na you know naman, alam mo naman for yourself na it's for a bigger cause. It's for, it's something that will help the org. Pero iba pa rin kasi yung magkakasama kayo physically, nakikita mo sila na nag-work kasama ka. Yung moments na yun, I feel like mag-isa ako. Kasi physically, mag-isa ako. Yun pa rin yung challenge na parang dala mo yung buong problema kasi ikaw yung mag-lead. Ikaw yung mag-first move sa lahat ng bagay. Ang susunod mo kasi may isip is paano pag nagkamali ka? Eh di sa'yo din nakasalalay. Being put in situations wherein you have to step up, may times kasi na you don't really have a choice because you love this thing and you don't want all efforts go to waste. It conditioned me to a lot of things that will come my way. Hindi lang sa organization, kundi in life. They don't often come in your comfort zone. So, talagang mapipilitan ka to step outside of that and to be able to face on these challenges na medyo vulnerable ka in a way. Yung feeling na pag yung prod na hinahandle mo, unti-unti siyang nalalaglag. And then, lapit na yung show dates pero parang hindi ka satisfied. Or wala pa din, walang progress. Then, marirealize mo, madami kang tao sa paligid mo, hindi ka nag-iisa. Hanggang sa malaban nyo, na ilaban nyo hanggang sa last day. I was elected as as the assistant PRO for external affairs. It was just so difficult because as an introvert, it's so difficult to do the job that you're expected to do, which is to talk to people. But I've been entrusted with this task. I've been entrusted with this position. I just know that I had to take the chance to learn. Feeling like I have not given my all or like my 101%. When in fact, Binigay ko naman talaga yung best ko sa, sa mga ginagawa ko. I was a cast member but at the same time, assistant band manager din ako nun. Critics Night yun, mock Critics Night. The band wasn't doing too well. I was really frustrated that time kasi I can't be in two places at once, kumbaga. When you are a part of something very special and a lot of people are in it and they're just as passionate as you are, Nagkakaroon ng parang impost, imposter syndrome. Uh, di ba may saying na parang you have to love yourself first before kamahalin ng maraming tao. For me, it was not the case. I learned to love myself kasi people loved me for who I am first. Even before ma-discover ko kung sino talaga ako. Uh, first day, first show. So, uh, early morning, antok pa lahat. 
wala pang wala pa energy murphy's law everything that can go wrong will go wrong and everything did go wrong <laughs> After, right after, right after the first show, I was there. Then, I was like, I was the only one. For, I think that was a good 15 minutes. I just turned 20. So there's a leap from being a teenager to an actual adult. And I'm considered as one of the ates and kuyas that will guide them through their journey in the organization. And at times, it is sad when you feel like you weren't able to live up to people's expectations. But then you realize it is actually yourself that you are disappointing. I become quite hard on myself. I installed na the yung, yung philosophy that if something was wrong, then you don't want to change it. There's no point na, ano, na you dwell on it, na you cry. I mean, it's normal if you cry, or you're frustrated. Ka. Pero dapat doon na matatapos. You move on to the next one. You figure out kung what went wrong, how you can prevent yourself from doing that, or, or how you can prevent that from happening again. And you do exactly that. I am still in a phase in my life wherein I'm not used to being the person someone looks up to. And I joined this organization very much in awe of what their members do. I am uh, teaching myself how to manage my expectations towards myself. And a little pressure, a little pressure is good, but just like in everything else, there's a line that should not be crossed. I try to tell myself every day na as long as before ako mag-sleep, hindi ko may isip na nagkulang ako. Tsaka kasi yung best na binibigay ko daily, I know that it differs. Ito yung next step eh. Ito yung supposed step ni Mediatrix right now. And wala naman tayong choice but to push through. If we really love the organization, if we really love what we do, and we're passionate about it, we will do anything na alam natin na ma- ma- magpapabuti sa lagay ng org. Take things one by one. Sa-isa lang. Huwag mo siyang pagsamahin kasi talagang you'll break down, really. I learned and I'm still learning not to take everything all at once. Best feeling yun. What memory in MDX do you keep looking back to? Something you can say is a feel-good moment? Inaanak or ninananak ako. Ang saya kasi sa feeling nung wino-welcome ka tapos pinipili ka. Wow! <laughs> Ang hindi mo din siya ma-explain kung gano'n ka welcoming or gano'n ka kabilong once na napili ka as a child or a godchild. Rehearsals namin sa Marigina. <laughs> Especially nung ano may mga times na nag warm up kami pero yung warm ups namin is naglalaro kami ng taya-tayaan post rehearsal dinners sobrang saya lang mag de-stress with the people that you work with mas nakikilala, mas nakikilala mo kasi sila when you have dinner with them when you eat with them nothing beats well young because although it was quite chaotic you can say it was perfect because it was it was it's a lot <laughs> It is the first production that I experienced during my college years. I had two jobs. Going into it, I was a little culture shock because I get to experience different people with different work ethics and I'm an introvert. I get a little overwhelmed dealing with different people. It is a very fulfilling experience and it introduced me to everything that came after it. I'm still here, so that speaks a lot. The last show in Company Call, the first production that I was doing, it was super heartwarming to see him. Because I know that all the people during that time is like, it's good to be good because every day there are shows. It always makes me feel like, aww, I'm cute. Parang ganon. We were playing this opening song for Act 2. And the first show in Umaga, we discussed sa band na what if let's change the arrangement for gala show and we pulled it off sobrang sobrang fun kasi nagtumutugtog kami sa backstage tinitingnan namin yung wings and <laughs> the people are like jamming out nung nagdirect ako ng prod it's not na papalakpakan ako but the people i mentored or the people i i have worked with na bigyan sila ng validation for the things na pinaghirapan talaga nila. Although, last na yun eh, pero yung validation mo sa sarili mo na I made it, na they made it, 
that for me is something that I'm very proud of. Yung final curtain call, yung final company call. During those moments, nagiyakan lahat, pero for different reasons. Medyo bittersweet siya kasi iisipin mo na magkakaroon ka ng sepaks. Yung lungkot din na alam mo na some of the people na katrabaho mo, hindi mo na ulit makikita or makakatrabaho the same way. Imagine all those emotions in one moment na yun lang eh, yun lang eh nasa isip mo during that moment. That's what makes it parang a moment na hindi mo na mauulit. Kahit na medyo paradox siya na parang hindi mo na mauulit pero at the same time every show umulit siya. Pero kasi it's different every single time. Definitely broad parties and farewell parties. For two days or three days, wala kang iba iniisip. You you just celebrate the broad and with your TIX members. The best feeling na you celebrate a milestone with your friends. And a face in my name to remember. Next question, na dali, dali. Now, before we move on, I'm just curious. Alam niyo bang sina celebrate ng MDX this year? Mga pala. Ano nga ba? Wait lang yung sipin ko. Let me guess. Third term ni May? <laughs> 28? 30th? Ano ba? Ano I think. 25th year ng MDX kayon. 25th year na ni MDX this year. Yeah, yeah, super anniversary. MDX XV. Happy birthday, MDX. I guess everyone's excited. 25 years old na. Kalain mo yon, umabot ng 25 years old. That's a big thing. That's a really big thing coming up. At dahil dyan, show us your best MDX is turning 25 face. Dito dog show tayo na. <laughs> Ooh, face. <gasps> Good night. 25? You know what's better than 24? 25. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> 25 then. Nilton nyo kami! Pinagtitipan nyo na naman kami. Now that Mediatrix has hit its silver anniversary, what is something you look forward to for its coming years? First off, I am looking forward, siyempre, on how we will celebrate Mediatrix's 25th birthday. Mas marami pang sumali, and mas marami pang tao na uh, mag-pursue ng art. More, I guess, more originals. Sobrang gandang process and sobrang fun. And I also look forward for more musicians to join uh, MDX para meron tayong sariling orchestra or band there. How with your tricks will progress through the times? An environment for people who want to learn to release an even more diverse content that tackles relevant topics of society, things that will um, pose a challenge, a good challenge, that will contribute to the org's growth and as well as my own. It's the love. The love I felt when I remember ako, I hope that continues on sa mga susunod na years kasi it saves people. It saves me as well. Growth. A uh, steady, consistent growth. Through the new things or like events that we propose nito. Lalo na kayon in this kind of platform, um, we're going digital. Na. I'm really looking forward to see how MediaArtrix will be able to reach a wider audience. Growth in the sense na we welcome new ideas, but at the same time, we never forget to pass on what we already know. So how the org will rise above the challenge because we're still on pandemic and also balita o oh, something big is coming up so you better watch out for that what is something that you are most thankful for because of mdx so first of all i am very thankful for the experience i'm very thankful for the chances that i am presented with mdx kasi talaga yung naging safe space kasi hindi ka nila binabox sa isang department ang dami kong nakala lang tao and dami kong na experience which really helped me to grow both as an artist and as an individual nakatulong siya to develop my leadership and interpersonal skills makakilala ka dito ng taong magiging kaibigan mo na forever. It's beyond being org mates. I joined Mediartrix later years ng college. 
life ko. But they made me feel like I knew them since 2014, nung freshman na ako. Mostly, I'm thankful for the friends and the people that I have met because of Miss Girl Tricks. Feeling ko sila yung mga people na ikikip ko for a long time if they allow me to. Ito talaga yung nagkulay ng college life mo, na babalik-balikan mo yung mga memories na ganyan. Kapag na-experience mo yung ganong klaseng love for people, it changes you and na-realize ko din yung kung ano ako at kung sino ako because of FDX. Na-realize ko kung ano kayong kong gawin because of FDX. Everything I am right now, utang ko lahat ko sa media artics. Like 70-80% of the things I learned in life natutunan ko habang nasa majority ako. Siguro in one word, everything. Everything in general. Um, there are a lot of things to be grateful for about Meteor Tricks, but I can definitely say that I won't be who I am today if not for Meteor Tricks. Meteor Tricks has witnessed a lot of ups and downs in my life, to put it simply. Ready to expound on that? What is your message for all the art enthusiasts out there? To keep doing what you love and do not be afraid to commit mistakes or fail. Don't be afraid to venture out kung ano yung, ano, kung ano yung usual mong ginagawa. Be yourself then. You can emulate and ano, be inspired but add a touch of you. As long as wala kang natatapakan na kahit sino, wala kang nasasaktan. As long as it keeps you happy. As long as you're pleased with what you do, with whatever you create. That's it. Prepare yourself for your disappointments. It will definitely come your way. It might propose to certain things that you live by. You may not be able to forget it. I hope that those will not make you stop what you're doing. Know that there is someone who will appreciate and will even watch you improve at your craft. It does not matter how many people see your work. It doesn't matter how many people like your work. It's important you enjoy it. And yeah, you love what you do. It's not something you do for money. It's not something you do for recognition. It's something you do for yourself. If you have something to share, share. Ang daming artists ngayon na sobrang insecure with their own art. But a case ko, EDR Tricks gave me that liberation to be who I am, to give what I can give, or to give more kung anong inakala ko. Don't limit yourself. Art is liberating. You are free to do what you want. It's a huge, huge canvas. Huwag mong pigilan yung sarili mo sa mga bagay na gusto mo and huwag ka matakot mag-explore. Kahit hindi ka arts, gusto kung gusto mo, uh, join me, your tricks. Lahat ng nasabi ko before, kanina. Baka may experience with it. I highly encourage you to support the arts more and as a creative, I highly, highly encourage you to hone your craft, pursue it. Yes, I'm talking to you. I am talking to you. I firmly believe that you are capable of so many great things with your skill and with your talent. So. What better way to share that kind of skill with like-minded people, right? Try Meteor Tricks. Well, bukod sa sumali sila ng Meteor Tricks, <laughs> I hope you never lose the passion in doing art. I think na art is what keeps people alive. The way you walk, the way you talk, lahat ng movements na ginagawa mo, you may relate it to art. And kung wala kang art sa katawan, ang lungkot naman ng buhay mo kung wala kang art sa katawan. So, yun yung message ko na ipagpatuloy mo lang. Pag napagod ka, magpahinga ka, pero ipagpatuloy mo lang. Last question. Mediatrix in one word. Shoot. Multifaceted. Transformative. Liberate. Extravagant. An adventure. Two words yun. Mediatrix is love. Mediatrix is home. At easy. Family. Mediatrix, it, it has and will always be my second family. Hindi mo ba bago yun? Ang kalawagan na yan Ating tahanan Ngunit ang ating pag-ibig ay may hangganan Kung aking may Mga laala, hindi ko 
Mahitapon. Wait, ayun na? That's the end of the interview. So that is it for today. Wait, 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 wait. We have a lot of things in store for you guys. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to like and follow us sa lahat ng social media accounts ng MDX. And I will see you in the next one. Also, join MDX. Toodaloo. Take care.